There are two main kinds of hyperlinks. One is an absolute URL and one is a relative URL. An absolute URL hyperlink is a hyperlink that when somebody clicks on it they go to a different web page probably on a different website. Uh, that's generally the way that you should think about it where the full web address http colon slash slash www.whatever.com that would be an absolute URL so you type in the location you want the URL to point to. A relative URL is where the link doesn't specify the website as a specific address it specifies hey look in the same folder that I'm in and I'll show you where to go so that's what a relative URL is I'll explain both of these as I'm doing them it's easier just to tell you about the absolute and relative URL and then as I do them as I show you how to do that then I'll be using those words and you'll understand this more completely so let's go back to our website so we click on the my website folder and we can look at our web page index and we see the page that we made now I'm gonna start planning this website a little better so now I'm going to create a few new pages so let me open up an editable version of the index page and let me just erase everything so I have a blank template so everything's gonna be blue background so what I do is I highlight the headline and then I just hit delete so I can do that by right clicking and hitting delete and then I can highlight my picture there I can hit delete I can highlight killer website secrets hit uh, delete now I can click on right click on the table hit table delete and right click on this other picture and hit delete so now I have a blank template of the look and feel of my website but each page is going to have different characteristics so now I go to file I'm going to hit save as well before I do that let's type the names of the pages that I'm going to put on the website so I'm going to type home because I'm going to have a home page and then I put few spaces and I can have an FAQ page and FAQ stands for frequently asked questions so it's a good idea to have those on most websites that therefore you can answer the objections people have and let me make this font a little bigger so I go to format size and just so you can see it I'm gonna make it large and that's not large enough let me make it extra large for you you wouldn't necessarily make this the biggest font you could on your your site but I want you to see it so I'm making it big enough for you and it's always good to have an about us page a contact page and below that I'm gonna promote rapid forex who knows what this website's gonna be so I'm just gonna put another link for rapid forex okay so that's these are the pages for our website the home the FAQ the about us and the contact so before I start creating hyperlinks, let's save pages. Let's just save blank pages with those names so we'll have pages to link to. So we go up to File, select Save As. Now we already have a home page, that's our index page. So the next page we need, and let me get this so you can see it, is the FAQ. So we just save it as FAQ. And when we hit Save, it's going to save that file in our website. So now we have an FAQ page. Now I still want to save this blank template file, save as, and now I want to create a blank about us page. So I'll just type in about us because that's the next page on our list, about us, and we hit save. And we noticed in our website the about us page is now there. And we want to save another page for the contact page. These are basic pages that you're going to want to have on most websites. You can set it up any way you like it, but I'm just giving you like a basic website. This way we have a few pages to link together and I can show you some different things. So we hit save. Now, the turn 300 into 30,000, 
click here, that's going to link to rapid4x.com. So we don't need to create a page for that. We can just link it to rapid4x.com. So now we have all these pages. We have the index, which is our home page. We have the FAQ, we have the about us, and we have the contact. So before I create the hyperlinks, let me just go to each of these pages and put a little bit of content there. This way, you can see when we click to a page immediately uh, what each page represents. So on this page, let's just write, let's make this the contact page and we'll say, please read the details below about how to contact us. We can say email us at contact at whatever domain x y y z your choice dot com I'm just making up a domain there if you feel like registering that go ahead it's just a crazy domain call us at 555 555 5555. Okay, so obviously that's not a real phone number or a real contact email address. I'm just, yeah, you can type whatever you want on this page. I'm just typing some fast text so that you can see that it's the contact page. And I can make it bold. Oh, it was already bold. So let me make it bold. And I can go up to the font. We go to text color and we can make that red and we can enlarge the font size here and we can make that extra large okay so here's a basic page you'd obviously want to put some more thought into that if you were creating the page okay so now we need to file save as that's our contact page so we double click do I want to replace it yes okay now we can delete this and our next page was about us so I want to go ahead and just create a little text here so here is where you can find out all about us our website and everything we love about dot 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 okay you type something that works for you <clears throat> and then you just type something else here we are experts at whatever you want to put in there we love this stuff we are qualified because whatever you want here just tell your life story a little bit about yourself why the website's interesting you know anything you want to share on this page just to give people a warm and fuzzy feeling about why you're in that market and the kind of experience benefits uh, anything that you think people would like to learn maybe a story about how you came from nothing and were able to be a tremendous success in this field or just how passionate you are about it. The About Us page just lets them get to know you a little better. So I've typed some text here and now I can go ahead and save that. Go to Save As and I save that as About Us. So I select that and I hit Save and it asks if I want to replace it because I already created it. I say yes. 